Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will talk to you about the fact that I'm a student again. <laughs> but first, you need to meet somebody. I mean, you need to meet something. I think you need to meet somebody. Um, this is Nyaren. This is Nyaren and this is my new coral palm. And I want you to meet her because when she dies, I will have the footage to um, to look at back at her, how she was, how beautiful she was before I killed her. I don't want to kill her, but uh, she's staying on my window, and probably that's the worst place uh, to uh, to keep a plant in here, and I cannot keep a plant there. Um, yeah. She loves light, but not too much light, and my window is the place that there's not too much light. So I really think uh, she'll be she'll be good. I keep her watered. For now, I am watering her with the moon water. If you don't know what moon water is, Google that, please. And if you will be interested or something, I will do a quick video about how to do your own moon water. I mean, you can't buy moon water, you need to do a moon water, but if you're interested, just ask. Yeah, so I gave her a name. This is uh, Nyoren, is a goddess of Earth, apparently, that's what I read. Uh, so that's pretty relevant. So yeah, now you know her, uh, you can keep your fingers crossed that I don't kill her. So why I decided to go back to school? So this is the first thing I need to tell you about. Um, to give my life some meaning, basically, because uh, what I do every day is I just get up in the morning, I just go to work, I come back to work, I nap for three hours and then I'm watching YouTube or writing or designing something or uh, doing something creative. Then I go to sleep, then I wake up, then I go to work, then I go home, then I sleep, then I do stuff and have some food. There is nothing interesting. So I decided to apply to school to become a vet technician. And this is not the easiest thing you can do, but um, let me explain what's the difference between a vet and a vet technician. Basically, a vet technician is a person who works in a vet clinic uh, and is a help for a true vet doctor. That person cannot write prescriptions and give 100% uh, diagnosis, uh, but is able to cure some minor uh, problems with all kinds of animals and there is a um, huge exam that is certified by the country so that's this is legit this is legit so you can work i don't know with uh, horses with cows with pigs um, and have help with minor issues that uh, uh, people may have in the, in the rural area uh, or you can just uh, work in the clinic in the city and just do injections to cats and dogs and help them with their uh, minor wounds um, or help with the surgeries uh, with all the equipment that's what I'm excited the most about <laughs> there are a few paths you can have in your life because um, there are some tech schools and these are very highly profiled um, sorry if the light is changing but here's the natural light I never film with natural light and now I'm confused there are a few paths you can have uh, um, after you graduate high school. Um, of course, you can go to high school or you can go to a tech school. After a tech school, it's a five-year um, school when you get a profession, a certified profession to do certain things, like to be a hairdresser, to be a cosmetologist, to be a um, dentist uh, assistant, because this is a very popular uh, profession in here also, or, um, I don't know, an IT guy. Um, this is a five-year five year, uh, long school and you, uh, you have a certified profession after that. Or you can do... Wait a minute, I need water. 
Alright, let's go back to the topics or you can do as I did. So you choose yourself a um, general high school and you learn basic things and then you have finals after three years. Um, mine was after four years because I decided to attend a Spanish um, bilingual class. So for the first year I was uh, just learning language and then for another three years I was just having all the subjects in Spanish. So <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, not all, all the subjects in Spanish, just just half of them was in Spanish. Yeah, but basically you can just attend a general high school and uh, choose some subjects you will be um, passing on your finals after three years and then you can go uh, to a university. That's, uh, that's what I did. <laughs> that's what I did at first. So um, after four years, I was already one year older than everyone else at the uni because they started one year before me and yeah my first uh, my first uh, studies was environment protection but I left it after half of a year because that was not what I thought it would be uh, I hated it I just hated it so I decided to transfer to study biology and that was my life that was my life I was so so happy at the biology um, degree I was ex oh my god I loved it I absolutely loved it but uh, if you know me long enough you know that I like to fail a semester or so from time to time randomly <laughs> because life and shit happens so after two and a half years I um, failed so I was done with biology and then I attended photography school so that was the difference between a general university and a private school so I attended a private photography school and I left it after a year because they just pissed me off they just pissed me off so hard <laughs> uh, but never mind um, yeah, and here I am, here I am. Now I uh, signed up for an additional school you can do after your high school, after your studies. So the point is that I've, now I'm signed up for a general school that you can do after you're done with your university or a tech school or just an adult school. Um, there are a few types of adult school, but uh, I just um, picked up one that I can do in week on weekends. So I will be spending two weekends a month uh, at school. I'm excited, guys. I'm excited. I would love to be a vet technician. I would love to... Um, I don't know if I will change my profession because now I work in IT. Yes, I'm a mixture of weird things. I already know that. <laughs> uh, the semester starts from March, so... There's only a few days left for, for me left and I can't wait for first lectures. I love that. I love that. I have a video in preparation about tools I will be using because I want to use my iPad, Apple Pencil and some apps to take notes and do uh, diagrams and stuff. So I'm excited. I'm going to show you uh, how it works, what I will be using exactly. So if you uh, if you would like to see, just uh, let me know. Uh, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm going to ask my dog's vet if I can do some practice at their at her clinic. Um, I hope she agrees because I have I have to do. 160 hours of practice somewhere at some clinic. Uh, I have no idea how I manage that. I have no idea, but I feel no pressure. I feel no pressure because I do this for myself. I do this uh, to challenge myself to do such thing. I've always wanted to go uh, to a vet school like at the university, medical university and become a vet doctor. Um, but it never happened because my finals were not that good to put me on a list. Um, yeah, 
If you have any any other questions, uh, just ask down below. I will be very happy to tell you more about that. Uh, I just wanted to be uh, excited with you. I just wanted to let you know that my life will change some somewhat. So I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.